Hey guys, we're going to be checking out an application today that allows you to change the gamma calibration of the Nexus 5. I know a lot of you have been waiting for this. Firstly, yes, it only works on the Nexus 5. Secondly, it does require root. And thirdly, it does require a compatible custom kernel. Off the top of my head, the compatible kernels I know of are Faux Kernel, Elemental X and Franco. There probably are some other ones, but they're just the ones that I know. Now the app is a little rough around the edges and you'll see exactly what I mean. There are no presets or anything like that to, uh, to choose from right now. It is available in the XDA forums. I've included a link in the description. So yeah, let's go ahead and check this out. Okay, so we've got the app installed. You can see it at the bottom of my screen right here and you'll notice it doesn't really have a proper app icon. Now that's what I mean by it being a little bit rough around the edges, not quite polished yet, but we'll dive into it. Let it load up, let it be granted root permissions, and we have some tabs to go through. So we've got intro, red positive and negative, green positive and negative, and blue positive and negative. Those are the colors. Then you have white point and info. Now, intro is essentially just a shortcut to the first post of the XDA thread. You can see it's from the developer Foe, and he just shows you his progress so far. He says he gets very close to the ideal gamma of 2.2. If you want to check the gamma of your screen, download the display tester app for free and check out the gamma. And he, he gives you his settings that he uses here. I should mention these haven't, be up, haven't been updated in a while. I don't actually use these settings. I use some other settings, which I'll share with you a little bit later. But if you do want to use these settings, let me show you how they work. So zero is the highest and 255 is the lowest. That's your range. You can't go below zero. You can't use negative numbers. So you can see the numbers here and you can't go above 255. If you do, it probably mess up your screen. You'll have to restart your device to kind of reset your screen. Now, you can see it shows you where to input these numbers. So row one, column one, that's as simple as the first number right there. The next set is row two, column five. So that would be row two, column five. That would be that number, that 101. So that's the number you change. And he also gives you the positive and negative numbers right there. So to actually apply your settings and make sure they stick, you have to change the settings per tab. So let's say I want to change the zero to 20 and I want to change the 10 to 11, you have to hit apply in this tab. You can't go to the next tab and then hit apply for all of them. You have to hit apply separately. You'll see there's a little bit of lag and then it applies. And then you can move on to the next tab, change your settings, hit apply, move on to the next tab, hit apply. Once you've done all that, you need to turn off the display and turn it back on for those settings to actually take effect. And then that's it. You can go into the display tester app to see if the gamma's changed or you should just notice a difference straight away. So I'm just going to change these settings back here. This was 10 and this was zero. Hit apply, just wait for that. And what I'm gonna show you now is my settings. Now, the settings I use are from a member on the XDA thread. There's loads of different ones you can actually get on the thread so you can test them out depending on what you want your screen to look like. The settings I use keep the red and the green actually stock. So you don't need to change any settings there. They do change the blue positive and negative though. Now, I'll include these settings in the description, or you can just pause the video and write these down. These are not the stock settings right now. These are custom settings, and the blue positive and negative are exactly the same. You shouldn't really change the positive and negatives to something different for each color. They should be the same, otherwise you can get banding and stuff like that. So those are the settings I use. And I also have my white point set to 28. Now, by, by default, that is actually set to 32, but we can actually change this now by, let's just show you what this does. So if I hit 20, hit apply, you notice my screen has instantly changed. It's a lot darker now. The colors are very, very saturated. So if that's something you want to do, you can mess around with the white point. I'll leave that back on 28. And what I'm going to show you now is a split screen between the absolute stock settings and the settings I use now. So let's check that out. Okay, so here we go. Now, in terms of the brightness, it's actually set to the same brightness level, exactly the same. I did not change that. You can definitely see the custom gamma is a lot more saturated, which is something I prefer. Not everyone prefers that, but that's just your choice. You can also see it in apps. The white is just a little bit more white on the custom gamma instead of the kind of yellowy tint you get on the stock. And of course, the more saturated blue at the top of the application. Next up, we've got the Play Store, and again, you can just see the difference in the saturation level, especially when looking at the Google Play Music banner at the bottom, it's pretty evident there. So there you go, guys, you can see how much of an effect changing gamma with this app can actually make on your Nexus 5. So yeah, give it a go. Peace out.